Hey, what's going on guys? Jake Verdon Tech here, back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about hooking up your next generation Xbox Series S or Series X to an Elgato capture card. And more specifically, in this video, I really want to talk about some of the issues I had when connecting my Elgato 4K60 Pro, the Mark II version, to my Xbox Series S. So hooking up a capture card is pretty straightforward. And if you don't have experience with it, we're going to go over it pretty briefly. Basically, in this case, I have the 4K60 Pro capture card from Elgato, which is an internal graphics card that plugs into a PCI Express lane on my PC. So we connect that to the inside of the PC. From there, you're going to want to hook up an HDMI cable from your console or the device that you're trying to capture. You're going to plug that into the in port of the Elgato capture card. And then from the out port, you want to run another HDMI cable to a display. The running of the HDMI cable from the out port to a display is somewhat optional. You can use the instant game view and just watch what's being captured through your game capture software, whether that's OBS or Streamlabs or something like that. But I do recommend using the HDMI pass-through as you'll get a much better image quality and it'll reduce the latency quite a bit. So now the main reason why I wanted to make this video and that is addressing some of the graphics issues I had when connecting my Xbox Series S to this Elgato capture card and that is the graphics quality issues I ran into. And speaking on those graphics quality issues, the main way I can describe it and I'll have some footage playing on the screen of how it looks before and after the fixes I applied to it. It was a really low contrast image quality. It almost looked like I was viewing the image in like a log format or something that really desaturates the image. And for gaming, I mean, you want it to look, you know, how it would normally look if you're just running an HDMI cable straight from your console to a display. And we weren't getting that when I was running it through the Elgato capture card. As far as the recordings and probably streaming would go too. The recordings turned out just fine. I would record footage and the colors would look completely normal. It was just the viewing experience I was getting through the HDMI out that was giving us a real issue and giving us that really low contrast kind of log footage look that wasn't fun to game on and I honestly like just wasn't using my capture card for a while which really sucks because I like playing it through my PC and you know running my chat in the background and having multitasking from my console and my PC. I did quite a bit of troubleshooting on this issue. I tried different HDMI cables both from the console to the capture card and from the display to the HDMI out port. For a while I thought maybe the out port had gone bad but whenever I would use other consoles like my Nintendo Switch and Xbox One it worked just fine. So it was only with the Series S and that's when I found out it could be because of the drivers that I have on the 4K60 Pro. So when you install the 4K60 capture utility from Elgato, which is probably the best thing to do when you first get one of their capture cards, is just go to their website, go to the software and support section, or select your product. You can download this utility, and I didn't take into account that this software does include drivers for your device. And that's where the issue lied for me when it came to having these graphics and image quality issues with the HDMI out going to my display is my capture card wasn't using the proper drivers and maybe no drivers at all when I was trying to game. So going about fixing this issue, if you guys are experiencing the same thing, first things first, you're going to want to go to Elgato's website and install the 4K capture utility if you haven't already done so. So you can acquire the 4K60 capture utility by going over to Elgato's website. On the far right side, if you click downloads, that'll bring you to their downloads page. Then you just select the device you are downloading the software for. In this case, it was the 4K60 Pro, and just hit download and it will start the download. Once you have the 4K60 capture utility installed, you're gonna wanna go to the settings icon in the top right, and this is where you can adjust all of these settings and check your device, make sure you have the right device selected. The big thing in here though, is you wanna check for updates. So that'll make sure that your capture card has the latest drivers on it and ensure that it's running properly. 
So once you have the 4K60 capture utility installed and you ensure that you have the right device selected and the latest drivers for that device, from now on when you do run your next gen console, whether it's the Series S, Series X, or if you're using a PS5 and you've ran into this issue, you want to make sure that you have the 4K capture utility running before you start your consoles. And for me, because I don't use the capture utility for actually capturing footage, I basically just minimize it and make sure it's muted out and not interfering with any audio. And then I open up OBS Studio and do all my recording through there. Once you have the 4K capture utility running, you can go ahead and power on your console and that should resolve the graphics issues as it did for me and I no longer had that really low contrast, kind of desaturated display on my HDMI out going to my monitor. So in a nutshell guys, basically I believe the reason why we were running into this issue is for the next gen consoles that have a little bit more power and probably if you run into this issue with any consoles or PCs, it's basically due to the fact that the 4K capture utility not only is Elgato software that's for recording and I think it might be able to stream but that software contains the drivers to run your capture card and to run it properly. As you can see, it does run without it, but we did run into some graphics quality issues. So having that software running will also have the drivers for your device running. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. This isn't a real common issue I've seen around the internet or on YouTube or anything. But I figured I can't be the only person having this issue, so hopefully you've had some graphics issues when trying to run your capture card with your next gen console. Hopefully this helps you out and can steer you in the right direction to getting those graphics issues fixed. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to miss moments like this. Dude, well, this is... Oh no! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I fell I, off too. Or this. Watch, I'm winning this one. Let's call it. Cue the kisses. He's he's not Cue winning. The kisses. He's, not, he's not fucking winning. Cue he's the on your right. He's on your right. Where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> he's fucking dusted. No, come on, get off me. Get off me. Rub it, get off me. Bitch. No. Fucking Daniel. You really think you? <laughs> yes. I got fucking sucking to the <laughs> That's bullshit. I am Hey. So I'm very happy to have this thing running properly again so I can capture all those hilarious moments and good gameplay moments when they happen. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more tech related videos like this one, be sure to subscribe. As always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.